Local jewelry store robberies, but just none with the same MO. Good. Why don't you come to bed? I can't sleep. I'll rub your back. Palermo accused me of not doing my job. Come on, Chris. Much overreacting. So now you think I'm being too emotional? It was a tough day. It was emotional. There's nothing wrong with that. Unless it interferes with your job. Only you know if that's what happened there today, Chris. And sometimes there's absolutely no way of knowing because we just react. And you think I reacted the way I did because we're sleeping together? You're a good cop. I trust your judgment. Yeah, well, I'm not so sure about Palermo. Maybe his radar is picking up on something. You know, if we just level with him about us. No way. We are not telling him. Fine. I forgot I said it. I'm going to bed. I'm going to go home. What, you mean you're not staying? Corey's gonna get suspicious about us, and that's the last thing we need right now. Good night. Ooh, you look beat. I think I missed sleep last night. Yeah, well, nothing like chasing after a loaded shotgun to put your adrenaline on over time. Yeah, that must be it. You talked to Chris last night? Yeah. We went out for a beer. Why? Well, she's just been out of whack ever since her conversation with the lieutenant. I was just wondering what you thought. Ballistics came back on that gun Chris confiscated. It matches up to a bullet taken out of a jewelry wholesaler up in Santa Barbara last month. Same M.O.? Yeah, it's just the first of four robberies they pulled there in a week. Sounds pretty organized. Yeah, SBPD says they're very precise and nasty. Just what we need around here. Let's put a warning out to all the local jewelers, huh? You got it. Officer Del Toro. I'm too busy to help the local constabulary. A fence is happy to see the cops. Young lady, a fence separates people. I bring them together. And I'm nauseous. I sense my charms are lost on Officer Kelly. Luther, your charms are as dubious as your livelihood. We're after some information. Victor, she lacks your subtlety, your finesse. Yeah, but I make up for it with attitude. Officer Kelly? We just got word that a truckload of designer watches was hijacked. And there's a big fat markup for the fence. Who moves the product? What's that I smell? Ah, aha, entrapment. It would be if it weren't a lie. I allow you going to repeat to every fence in the area. Tell them the seller's going to auction the watches on the pier at 4 this afternoon. And I assume shortly thereafter you arrive. That's right. I'll have to consider it. After all, I would sacrifice certain credibility among my peers. 20 years in the same location. Let's cut to the bottom line. Officer Del Toro here says you owe him a favor. I trust you were discreet with the details. OK, you got yourself a deal. Think it'll work? If you steal it, they will come. <laughs> Man, is this great or what? Why has he got to go off on me like that? Zane? That's just the way he is, man. He scares me, Hank. He scares me too, man, but that's what's so cool about him. I think he's nuts. Hey, no, no argument. But it's what makes him dangerous. The people are afraid of dangerous. And that's why we always get away. Where is he now? <laughs> he went to go meet the girl. He said he wanted to take a shower. <laughs> why? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I told you Luther would come through. I present to you every local fence who handles jewelry. Let's just wait and see exactly what he comes through with. The only way 
way out of here is through me. And we violated some local statute. On any given day, I'd wager several. Well, then, if we're not under arrest... You have the right to remain... All right. What do you want? Seaside gems heist. Anything? Seaside got hit? Oh, please, try to be more convincing. Seaside got hit? Listen, I want the guys who pulled out this robbery. Which makes this different from every other day, how? These guys are violent, and they could be dangerous to anyone who's dumb enough to deal with them. So you'd like a little heads up and kiss the rocks surface? That's right, Louie, that's what I'd like. Is there a get-out-of-jail-free card in there for us? Well, I can do much better than that. I could stay out of your face every hour of every day for the next year. I can handle at least a dozen pieces. And I want the emerald bracelet for myself. You know I don't fence where I steal, baby. Then give me some of the Santa Barbara stuff. Greedy, greedy, greedy. We had a deal, Zane. I pick out the stores, I get first crack at the merchandise. That was before you told me about the lady cop. She's probably the one who nailed Billy. <laughs> Bet she took heat when we split. Hell hath no fury, Zane. I'll think about it. Now, tell me about tonight's target. These aren't the same guys, Lieutenant. Same MO, same descriptions. What happened? The owner resisted, so they shot him. He may have wounded one of them before he died. There are blood stains leading down the boardwalk. I'll let the local hospitals know. Right. We started seeing each other. We agreed we wouldn't bring the job home with us, so the relationship would never last. Well, we were right. Yeah. And then you started bringing the job home and all the crap that comes with it. You are so clueless. What? What'd I say? Nothing. Everything. Chris, you didn't shoot the store owner. No, I didn't. But the guy who did is out there because I screwed up. Hey. You didn't screw up. You're so sure. Yeah, I am. Well, I wish I was. Look, I know you're hurting. And I want to make it better, but I don't know how to fix this. <sighs> you know, as damaging as this may be to the male ego, TC, not everything can be fixed. Wait a minute, wait. <sighs> Sometimes I just want to be held and told that it's going to be OK, even if it's all a lie. Victor, you ever have any doubts what kind of cop you are? Nope, I'm a Hispanic one, and if I ever forgot, there was always enough gringos around to remind me. Present company accepted. In the Navy, I always felt like I was being judged by a different standard. Oh, I've been there. You can't just be good, you have to be better, a lot better. Lately, I feel like I've been falling short. Better doesn't mean perfect, Chris. Wait, there's losing. 25. 20? Hey, 15. What's going on, Luke? Oh. Hong Kong got handed back to the Chinese. Hillary Clinton hit the big 5-0. Talk about yesterday's news. And a certain trinket from Seaside Gems just rolled into Lou Burton's pawn shop. Is that Louie? Even the fence has got trouble getting fen-fen these days. <laughs> 